947 on this Saturday morning. Time now to imagine it with Carl Nelson, the chief scientist at the Imagination Station, who's recently hitched. And I mention that because we're holding rice. And I don't know if they <laughs> threw rice at your wedding, but maybe this is what we can do this morning. Well, huh? thank you very All much. Right. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you asked me once where I get the ideas for the Imagine it segments, right? right? Yeah. And so it's really kind of exciting. This idea came from a viewer who watches regularly Ooh, and happens to work at Magic Walk. Okay. Hence the rice and chopsticks. Got it. All right. Okay, now normally this is presented as a magic trick. Really? So we're going to try to do we're going to try to pull off the magic okay. and then explain the science. I'm down. Okay. So, first thing you need is some rice, a clear bottle like a water bottle. So we got one of these filled with rice. Tony, I want you to fill this one up with some rice okay. as well. Okay, let me help you with the funnel. Ah, good so idea. Pour that in. You're going to fill it as high as you can. Looks pretty good. That's yeah, good. Woo, hey. A little overfill. Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Now it's magic, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to take a chopstick and just so you know there's no trickery, go ahead and break those apart. I like to break these on my forehead. Okay, just pull them right apart. Okay. <laughs> Excellent, I'll take one, you take one. Now, this is where we, if we were magicians, we would probably wave these and say some magic words. Help me out with this, what would we say? Zing, zang, zoom. Okay, the idea is we're gonna lift the entire bottle with just the chopstick. Okay. All right, so, and the technique is you just take the chopstick and you just push it straight down inside. So we'll do it together. Okay. Push it straight down, and then on the count of three, we're gonna magically lift the bottle up. All right, three, two, one, pull it up. Mine didn't work. Okay, that's, <laughs> well, that's, that's odd. Okay, here, let's try it. Right, let's, switch, let's switch chopsticks. Let's try this, see, see if it's The magic is gone already. No, 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 let's try it again. <laughs> three, two, one, pull. Ah, okay, so th that's the gag, right? Okay. Is that there's something different between these two bottles. The right. chopsticks are the same, so that's not the deal. Yeah. So what do you think could be different? You lost a little rice, I'll top you off there. Okay, I got uh, is there some sort of moisture in there? Okay, well, I mean, maybe, that's a good idea. They look like the same size. It's just the same rice from the same bag. We use right. the same chopsticks. Yeah. The, the clever fifth grader in the audience would probably point out that you never saw me fill this bottle. That's true. So maybe there's, maybe I glued the rice together. Maybe I hit a magnet inside. Maybe, I don't know. So just to dispel that, let's go ahead and empty our bottles. You empty yours, I'll empty mine. Okay. Just pour it right in there. Try to get all the rice inside. It's and coming out. we'll see if there's any trickery inside the bottle. Looks pretty even And too. they look, hmm. actually, yeah. trying to shake yours up. It's like my bottle. I, I did hide something in mine. I hid more rice just inside a little bit my more bottle. Though, huh? There's a little bit more rice inside mine. So I actually tamped my bottle down. I jammed it down inside there to get more rice inside. So let's, let me show you how you do that. Okay. And what happens is when you put more rice inside the bottle, you sort of increase the, you decrease the space in between the grains. Okay. So go ahead and tap that on the table. Okay. Just, tap it, just tap it like down. this? Yeah. When you tap it down like that, look at that. You see the top has lost some rice. We'll fill it up again. Tap it down again. And that makes all the difference. That makes all the difference. Just so a you're little extra rice. Increasing the density of the bottle by adding more rice inside. Tap it down again one more time. Now see if you can pull off the trick by shoving the chopstick down in there. Okay. And pulling it up. No, not quite. <laughs> you gotta you gotta keep going. You gotta get it really more, tightly packed down. More there. Rice. In fact, you can even use your thumb to shove the rice down and there you go. pack it down in there tight. Make the density makes Make your the friends density higher. feel dense as well. Friction gets a little it's bit very higher. Close. Very close. There, oh, I'll, just, I'll pick it up sideways. Uh, yeah, right, you're right. It right. worked. There you go. But you get the idea, though. You get the idea. You pack the right. rice down in there really, really tight, decreases the voids between the grains. Mm -hmm. And, you know, as a teacher in a classroom, it's kind of a cool thing. You can talk about density. You can talk about friction. You can talk about sort of the science behind some of those magic things. One last try. There we go. Ah, there, there we go. go. There we very go. nice. Very that nice. one's on there. Excellent. All right. All right. Carl Nelson showing you how to fool your friends and make them feel <laughs> silly. Thanks again for coming down. And we're going to turn it over to Joe with sports.